So unfortunately my second client today canceled last minute so I only have one client today but that's okay. I'm gonna ask my client if I can film our consultation so I can show you guys how that kind of goes and other than that I'm gonna show you guys the whole process of doing her nails hopefully I can film that. My first client is one of my regulars she's so sweet she always comes with the most advanced design so it really challenges me so hopefully i can make her proud today but yeah she's doing a removal so i'll quickly show you guys my nail desk so since we're doing a removal for my first client i already set up the nail dust collector and underneath that i have this i don't know this sanitary sheet and on top of that, I also have kitchen paper because usually when I do cuticle care and all the dead skin and all the dust falls on this black one, I want this black one to be clean for the design. So I just double layer it with a kitchen paper. And I also wrap this armrest for sanitary reasons. I also have sanitized tools on my right. And this brush is like so useful in all my appointments. So I definitely recommend getting one of these to brush off all the dust. I also got acetone right here because we're gonna be doing removal with this tub. I already prepped everything so I don't need to do all that when my client comes. And I also have lit candles. I have all my brushes here, all my tools, more down here. It's kind of messy. I usually organize once every two weeks and it's getting there. So only one fell and I had to, I couldn't find the nail for some reason. Oh it, really? It had to have fallen in my room, but I just couldn't find it. I literally turned the room upside down and I had to like put on a press on. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's cute though. Yeah. It goes with Which, everything. Honestly, yeah. this press on has lasted me like three weeks. Really? I know. Wait, how, how did you glue it on? And like just glue and it's like, Okay, let's see if we can get it off. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just cute. I'm glad they lasted. Oh, I love the design you sent me today. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to like change or just keep it all the same? Um, I'll let you decide. I'm like not fussy. Okay. I feel like I can do it. I feel like I can do it. I love this. The I thumb. know. This the thumb is so, is so pretty. And this one too. I first started by clipping her extensions shorter so that it's easier to drill her nails down and I also used my nipper specifically for charms to just remove all the charms so they don't get stuck on the drill or anything so I just like to do that before I turn on my dust collector and my nail drill but then after that I went on I went in with my nail drill with a carbide bit at speed. I usually like to go with a higher speed because then it's easier to drill the nail down. So I did maybe like speed 12 or 13, I don't really remember, but I usually go between that kind of speed quite high, but be careful. And yeah, so I drill as much as I can and soak them off.
I don't know if I told you guys this, but I'm actually leaving Tokyo for a month to go to Switzerland and work a little bit there to earn some money. So for the type of work I'm going to be doing over there, I need short nails. So I'm going to change my nails because my flight is like in two days, I think. Anyways, and I'm removing my extensions so i'm soaking my nails off and scraping it off with a cuticle pusher and nipping the chunks off of my nails and doing the cuticle care i'm going to show you guys the cuticle care a bit but it's not much and i'm going to skip over what i do with my nails because i have like a ton of tutorials on my nail channel that you guys can check out so i'm not going to repeat it again and again but I'll show you guys the end result of how my nails look. I decided to go in with some Korean nail gel. What are they called? Jelly nails? Like with magnetic um, gels. I don't know what... I'll just show you guys. I don't know how to explain this. But you guys will see the end result. It's really cute. It's like a pale purple color. And yeah, I'm doing really minimal cuticle care because I just did them like for the valentine nail video that i posted up on my youtube channel that you guys can check out if you want to but yeah so i'm not really doing much with the cuticles but i just cleaned them up and at the end make sure you put cuticle oil or cuticle balm because your nails need the love Hi guys, good morning. I have a client this morning, so that's what I was prepping for. And today is a new client, so I'm really excited to meet her. And I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna film as much with this client because first time clients, I like to make them feel comfortable. So I don't wanna like film too much and make them feel uncomfortable but I'll show you guys the before and after of the nails. And as you guys saw that I prepped my nail, how do you say, my nail desk I prepped this morning. Yeah, so I'm gonna do her first and then I have two more clients that are coming. So I have all together three more clients until I leave. And I actually haven't told you guys, but I'm leaving Japan, I'm going abroad to Switzerland in three days. So I haven't packed, I haven't done anything, I haven't gone shopping, I haven't gotten all the things that I need to pack. So I'm kind of feeling overwhelmed right now. I, I feel like I overbooked myself with too many things that I'm getting overwhelmed with how much I need to get done. So you guys will see me pack last minute before i get on my plane and yeah so today after i do my client's nails today's just one client so after i do her nails i'm gonna go to church and do some shopping around that area and then the day after tomorrow i'm leaving at like 7 a.m in the morning so yeah i have like three clients left i'm gonna try to film as much as i can so i can show you guys um some of the process of doing my client's nails but today it's just my first client so i'm not going to show much of it but yeah 
hopefully hopefully goes well um this client i have a lot of questions of like how do you get clients and stuff so this client that i got it was through tiktok i think like i posted a video before this one on how i started my nail business at 18 years old and on that video i go in depth on how i get my clients which platform i use to reach new clients and market my business so if you guys are interested in checking that out then go ahead i'm gonna link the video up here and down below and every product that i use in this video everything that i use will be on my amazon storefront so all the nail tools that i use will be linked down below so don't worry about that anyways wish me luck and i'll see you guys later This is the little lunch I made. I have, I can't really tilt the thing, but looks like this. I warmed up some rice and warmed up the katsu and put some eggs. And I like to put the, um, we call it the bulldog sauce because it has like a little bulldog mark on it. But we always pour this all over the katsu. Like that. Ta-da! Anyway, I'm gonna eat it now. I'm like born and raised in Japan and I still don't know how to hold chopsticks properly. So don't feel bad about not being able to hold chopsticks because even a Japanese struggle to do it. <laughs> It's the next morning and I'm gonna drive off now to the airport. It's like currently, it's currently like 7 a.m. I'm so emotional. I don't even wanna talk about the fact that I'm leaving, but thank you guys for watching this video. I don't know if you enjoyed it. Wish me luck on my trip and comment down below if I should ever vlog in Switzerland. I don't know. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do there, but. I'm trusting in God's plan for now and I'm gonna drive off because I feel like I'm being a little bit dramatic so I'm not gonna cry until I'm there I'm not gonna let that feeling settle in until I'm like there in Switzerland and I landed so my flight is at like 12 and now it's 7 so I need to drive an hour and a half to the airport so I'm gonna do that but wish me luck guys and I'm not gonna cry I'm gonna make it but thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it